business. Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to brief you about chapter eight case problem. The thing is that uh, Carlson department store, uh, it has a regular uh, sales, but because of a hurricane that happened on August 31st, uh, last four months, during last four months, it didn't generate any sales. So the organization want to estimate uh, to what extent it can make sales during those four months if hurricane was not hit. So because uh, it want to ask insurance company for compensation based on the sales it like that organization has possibility to make. Okay, so here uh, we can see that three different things it was asked and uh, if you observe, I might have sent you two different Excel sheets. One is related to the Carlson department store. Second one is countrywide department stores related sales. Both are sales related data and we are supposed to estimate what will be the value if hurricane was not hit. Okay, and it is very important that we calculate estimated cost to what extent Carlson might have lost because of the hurricane. All right, so let me show you the first one. Uh, the template based on the template, I'm removing this. First, uh, after reading, I, I have given uh, another template and another case study sheet. From that, you can read it. So here, we what we do introduce introduction, introduction, and in, uh, below this, we are supposed to give a nice introduction to the case study after reading given case study. What is its expectation and uh, what kind of outputs we are going to generate? That should be discussed in introduction. Second one is we are supposed to create an estimate sales of curls and department store if hurricane was not happened. So uh, try to write a paragraph on uh, time series plots and estimation related to this information, this uh, sections. We just uh, give a hundred word brief note on this, how it will be helpful to businesses in estimation purpose okay so next what i do is like i will start estimating carlson sales department store if hurricane did not happen okay so for that i need excel sheet related to carlson store so this is the store and uh, i took data from uh, data tab so here we have data tab from that i took whatever the data that is required and i selected sales value and try to develop a line plot which is easy for me okay so to ensure that the space is effectively used i'm increasing size of the graph okay now i'm adding data labels onto the graph so that we can see which month it has highest value and what is the highest value what is the least value how the trend of uh, data is so by using the linear regression model so we can perform time series analysis using different approaches. But here, what I want you to do is like, I, I want you to apply, I want you to apply uh, linear model, linear model on time series data that we have. So for this, we are supposed to create a trend value. I'm trying to add trend value, trend line. For that, uh, let me add, this is linear model and I just want to make, make sure that this linear equation is on available. So, let me remove this because first, before we start, for this model, I want to create a time series data plot. Okay, this is time series data plot that I want to insert here. Then the equation was created. Now, 
So let us add the trend value, trend line. And for the trend line, let us see the equation on the chart. The equation was taken above. Now, based on the equation, what we see is this is period is x value, and we have some intercept that is 0 0.2.20. Let us give it, give it a let us implement it huh? is equal to 2.2089. That is intercept here plus open bracket this into 0 0.0092 0 0.0092 so this is the estimate estimated forecast is calculated like this so when we double click this we can get some kind of forecast here now here next to four months and this will be extended so these four values could be the estimated values for the next four months if hurricane was not hit so this is july value so we can see it from the data sheet this is july value sorry this is august value this is september october november december values okay these are september october november december values so the series ends at august at august 31st the attack was happened hurricane attack so from for the next days next few months the value will be among these four okay by using data model linear view data model these values can be generated so we have a uh, Carolyn sales value. So now we try to take these four values. And uh, the linear regression data. So this is the equation. So this is the equation and uh, when we implemented the equation in this, the estimated forecasted values, forecasted values were achieved. Okay, similarly same kind of application was performed on country sales value. So let us take, uh, insert a chart, line chart and uh, Add data series and uh, add trend lines. So first, I will copy this one for the second uh, section. So for this one, estimating country sales value. Okay, so I will take this value here. Like the last time, I can drag it. So now. What could be the linear equation here? So, just want to display equation here, dragging and dropping up. That is equal to 59.244, 9.244. Zero point one two seven eight, zero point one two seven eight into like maybe I need to add here series, the serial number one, two, three, like this period every month month by month how it is getting increased so this is for the first month and by the end
if the hurricane was not hit, this could be the values. These are actual values. See predicted values. So these are two different values that are estimated for total country. This is for whole country. So just you can take these values, otherwise you can take in this format. What is the format you want, you can take it. Make sure that you give proper data and analyze it. Okay. So prediction estimated values if no hurricane attacks. So this is my way of uh, designing it and uh, I'm making it as a table. So make sure you prepare your own table kind of thing and uh, present it. Okay. This should be taken screenshot. Never take a print copy paste. So just take print to screen and go to this kind of sheet and take a screenshot of whatever you have designed and copy paste below that. So in the above graph, we can, we show the model like a predicted uh, time series plot, and in the below model, we have calculated uh, predicted values if no hurricane attacks for the second option. For the third option, we are supposed to calculate total value for uh, this one countries, not country cells, calls and sales. Okay, we know that these are for the periods like September. October, November, December. Okay. See, these are four values. Months and period. Now, let us calculate total value. So, so this is 10.694. Then we say that the company lost 10.694. 694 because of hurricane. So we copy it and paste it over this. We, we take a screenshot of this and we paste it here and we try to discuss about. So you can prepare this one on your own. Okay. You can remove these detail. You can add, you can keep these details. Other way you can remove this. You can keep months. So overall, you are supposed to calculate using the last four values from the series here. Time series data. Okay. Maybe I did a mistake. Three, four. Right. Okay, using these values, you are supposed to perform prediction. And this is the total estimated value that should be discussed about. Okay. Sorry. According to the case study, what was that asked? That's it. So for uh, this September through December, what is the amount it lost? It lost 10.694 total sales. Okay. Cross check whether it is in millions or uh, in what way it is given. If it is not mentioned to what is the value, is it not millions or something is not mentioned, it's just mentioned simply 10 point uh, some XYZ value is lost by the company because of the hurricane. Okay. So this is all about your uh, time series forecasting.
make sure that you mention i have used regression model to perform analysis on time series data okay so i will make a note it here note here uh we used regression model to analyze it okay we you are supposed to discuss this okay now under this we write a we introduce case study we write a little in a paragraph about this one and along with that one we say there are different models that can be applied among that we use a linear regression model next for the first task we create a linear regression model like this then we take a screenshot of the prediction values print screen this is you take the created paragraph otherwise you create it. you take this the estimation so you discuss about these things after performing a regression model analysis the following with these four values 2.5 to 2.68 was the estimated values for September, October, November, and December. That should be discussed. Similarly, we performed analysis for this one, and we have estimated values. We just discuss about them. Then uh, you discuss about uh, total calculated value of uh, calls on this one, this one, and 10.694 should be mentioned here. After that, please write a recommendation. recommendation to the organization about claiming insurance by mentioning the loss it it got it received okay so you should mention uh, the best uh, to what extent the organization can claim insurance and uh, they can also speak about application of other uh, time series methods such as moving average methods which help us to calculate proper values, more accurate values. So that can be discussed. There are different approaches like uh, moving average. As it was told you, there are different approaches like things that are mentioned here, linear model that was used by us then there are, there are other methods that can be applied to get more better results some of the examples are moving average method moving average and exponential smoothing seasonal impact analysis are some examples okay so now conclude conclude about uh, application of time series method and uh, estimating values so that organization can estimate what loss it got because of the hurricane attack and how it can be uh, it can present itself in front of insurance companies regarding the claims okay so you should conclude about that then please don't forget to add reference you can add a reference of a book that consists of details related to time series analysis all right so that is that's it from my side help yourself and complete the document all right so make sure to take all these details from the excel sheet make sure you, you do it in your own way okay all right team so these are the headings for the document you are supposed to improvise these headings chalo all the best give your best thank you